Good morning. Hi. It's Tuesday. How are you doing today? So um, for us today, still a little bit of the knowingly unpredict the predictably unpredictable, I guess, rather than the um, unpredictable, unpredictable. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> what I mean is, I guess, as I was saying yesterday, life is always unpredictable, but sometimes we have that awareness of it. And because my daughter has a cold, it's like I'm conscious of the unpredictability. We have uh, usual Tuesday plans for us in place and I am getting myself ready and carrying on um, getting ready to go and do that um, while my daughter feels into the day and sees how she's feeling and what she wants to manage with her day, um, what she's able to do. So um, we'll see where the day lands, but uh, we're supposed to be meeting friends, going to the gym and um, going out after, but full of snotty cold and gym, I'm not sure <laughs> that's going to be in our plans today. So we'll see where we land. Um, and the sun is shining. And what I am really feeling at the moment, I don't think I'm alone in, so I'm going to bring it into this space, um, is a sense of going over things, clearing out, organising, you know, the cupboards, the garage, you know, that kind of thing, um, but also paperwork, looking at finances, looking at plans, looking at my work plans, looking at how, as a family unit, we um, need to plan our time um, and our money and having lots of conversations around those things. So it's the, the going over things, uh, clearing out, checking things, organising things. And what came to me, we were doing a lot of yesterday because we've um, lost my father-in-law who, who lived with us over the last year. There's lots of phases that come up of, of letting go of things. And we were going through some of the stuff in the garage and um, he had a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of paperwork and a lot of things. So we was kind of taking them bits at a time and we were going through some of the paperwork in the garage and doing some clearing out. And I was thinking of, particularly for my mother-in-law, what a lot of emotional letting go there is around some of it, you know, and... Um, and it's that kind of feeling that I wanted to bring a bit of tapping in today. It's the letting go of stuff, but it could also be um, emotions. It could be anything you like. If you've got something coming up for you that you've got a sense of it's time to let go of, but it's quite, it's quite hard. Or maybe you're not even conscious that it's hard. You just know that you put it off. You stuff it in a cupboard or a metaphor, metaphorical cupboard, um, put a lid on it. It's time to open that door, have a look at the dust and the grime and make those decisions about letting some stuff go. So if that's resonating with anything going on for you, whether it's thoughts, whether it's feelings, whether it's actual, you know, kids toys, clothes, stuff like that. I know it's been something that's been really challenging for me because I'm actually really quite keen to let go of stuff and clear space. I like to like move on with things. Um, and my PDA -er is definitely um, a gatherer um, and feels a lot of safety and security in having stuff around and also has intense emotional attachments to things. They're very attached to memories and senses. And so actually working together to be able to comfortably and safely release stuff from the home has been a bit of an ongoing project for us as a family, which I can sometimes feel quite stuck, frustrated and overwhelmed with. So I'll acknowledge those feelings for me to bring into the tapping. Notice what comes up for you. And then if you want to, just see if we can shift a bit of that energy and support because I feel like those energies are really around right now we're in a time where we're kind of supported in being inspired in this and we'll just see if we can clear out any any static in our own system that's kind of needs a bit of a clear out itself okay tapping on the side of the hand here and you can say after me and even though it's really hard to let this go love and accept myself even though it's really hard to let this go, 
deeply, completely accept myself. Even though it's really hard, and on one hand I want to, and on the other hand I don't, <laughs> I'm willing to let this go now, or at least part of it. I deserve to feel that relief, to clear that space, and to welcome opportunities for the new to flow. I deserve to feel lighter and easier and for things to run smoother. I deserve to have a clear channel and it's safe for me to create that now. Good. And as you're tapping even, you might think, start thinking of things or people or, you know, anything might pop into mind. So just go with that. I'm tapping on the front of the eyebrow. Just acknowledge what's here. Ready to let go now. And on the side of the eye, I'm ready to let go now. <sighs> I'm willing to release. It's easy for me to let this go. <sighs> I'm grateful for what it brought in its time. And now I'm ready to release it. I welcome the space that's opened by letting this go. I look forward to the space, the peace, oh, the ease, the clear channel, and the grace that this brings into my life. I'm grateful that it creates space for something new, something wonderful, a new experience, a new thing, or a new sense of peace and ease for me. There you go, my lovelies. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day and I will be seeing you soon. And talking about creating space for something new. It is my intention to come and talk to you properly about what I'm creating at the moment, which is the Freedom Centre. And I'm hoping that some of you who watch this video will be able to know if it's creating a feeling of all oh, this might be something for me as I'm just giving you these little teasers, which are not deliberate teasers. This just mean not having had the right opportunity to come and talk to you properly. Um, but the Freedom Centre is gonna be a community membership for the members of Peace with PDA who want to really dive in deeper with me, with their own inner work, with their own healing, their own deconditioning and um, really be in community with others who are inspired to really feel empowered as the parents they are, not because they're the parents, or actually because they're the parents they are in an empowered sense, um, and really being together in support and guidance and inspiration and love as we move through a journey together is gonna to be the deep dive work so just notice if that's like, mm, that's giving me a little call and um, when I put more details out, you can see if it's something that is saying, yes, this is for me. I am, I am meant to be a member of this community. I think we're gonna know who we are and I'm really excited to uh, walk with you all in that space. I can't wait to bring it together. Okay, lots of love to all of you. Take care, bye.